Hello everybody, Targal here with episode 1 on my brand new Let's Play series on the modpack Avant by us, the FPOG community. In case you are wondering, you can download Avant from the Curse Launcher, and if you want to get a little more details on um, how to join the server, I'm on a public server that we set up for everybody to play on, make sure that you watch the prologue video that I put out just shortly before this one. I'll put a link down in the description so you can easily find it, otherwise just check out my channel, it's going to be the video before this one. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna see a lot of you guys here. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And while I just, you know, do my thing here, run around, punch some wood, I actually, usually you start with 16 apples. But for some reason, I have no apples. I only got these two books. And that I think has something to do with... Palmcraft tree. Has something to do with me, you know, I was on here, I put the, the spawn ship over here, you guys seen this before, I built that on Unabridged, and I love it so much, I said... It's going to follow us on any new worlds that we're going to have and all the different mod packs. Um, and of course, you know, I deleted my player profile. Like, did I just... Nope. I can't even break this one. Oh, what am I doing? What did I just do this for? <laughs> I'm going to need something. Uh, let me get some wood here. I should get the achievement now. There we go. Getting wood. All right. So I'm, I'm back at start. I'm just missing the apples, which sucks, but it's okay. I'm super excited, guys. 1.8.9 mod packs. Um, I explained it in a prologue video that we, we've been spending a lot of time here trying to make this mod pack, or we're making it, I should say. Um, and we went through dozens more mods, at least two dozen, probably, that are actually in the pack and, you know, doing a lot of testing. And um, I worked a lot on the ore generation, so we don't have, you know, 17 different coppers and tin and so on i i always liked it that when um people for example bolt you guys know bolt from the underbridge series you know i always loved that he took the time to make sure that there is a you know ore is somewhat cleaned up and so on i i think it's just really nice to have that and so i did the same here we go i'm making a pick um can i actually make i never tried it i don't think i can make a a cobblestone pick with this, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope somebody can sleep. Uh, we're gonna ask them here nicely. Hopefully they're gonna sleep for me. A couple people are online here already. Um, Glitch, uh, E-Chance, and Mike. You guys know them all. Or, I hope you guys know them all. If you're watching my streams and so on, you do. And it does not work. Okay. I figured, uh, oh no, 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 I don't got no time for you, spider. I do want to get this chest, though. So, leave me alone. Please sleep, I don't want to die. All right, let's dig down. Right here, oh, I think from the prologue, I didn't even unclaim these chunks. Whoops, now this chunk loaded. Right click, you unselect it. There we go, I just wanted to make sure that I don't leave my mark here because I'm not staying here. I'm going to explore a little bit today. Um, now, overall about the series, guys. Um, it, it's going to be a let's play. But I do plan on making a lot of um, mod spotlights on a lot of these new mods that are in the pack. A lot of them, I, I know how some of it works now because from all the testing and so on. But, of course, um, there is still tons of stuff that I've never done, never heard of. And we're probably going to find bugs here and there. But we'll uh, work on them when we get to them. Right now I'm still on 0 0.90. There's actually already a 0 0.91 out. But we haven't updated the server just yet. Because Curse has given us a lot of problems today. I am going to break the spawner. Nobody needs that one. We have roguelike dungeons. So we're going to have a lot of spawners. Some black quartz, tin, redstone, a disc, some iron... And letting it. So you guys see here from base metals, for example, um, the texture is still missing. And I'm even going to take the chest. That's right. And let's not leave a mark here. So yeah, like I said, I want to, I want to, I, I do want to build nice and stuff. Okay. But I'm not going to go crazy um, with ideas and stuff that I want to do here. Of course, I do have some ideas. But I was actually thinking, I'd like to find a rogue like... Oh my god, look how many Thumbcraft trees there are. I just came from that one. There's another one. And there's another one. Oh, what is this over here? 
Is that a roguelike already? Yeah, it is. Um, the roguelikes have changed a lot with 1.8.9. You guys see, there's some really cool towers and stuff on top of it. There's even some that um, go very nicely in deserts now. Um, like Almost like pyramid-like. I mean, really, I love that mod. I always loved roguelike dungeon, but this is an even cooler update. Break it. Quick. Do it. All right, what do we get here? Some bronze, some tin, piece of bread, some lead, enchanted book, haste to power four. I take it and recreate zombie hearts, some quartz here. I'm going to leave this chest. I'm not going to dig it up. Now, where was this? It's right here. Let's check this out. Oh, there's a village too. So let's go to the village and then I'm going to go to this tree. Um, I don't want to show you guys, you know, everything here with uh, punching wood and all that stuff. But... Um, like I'm, I've been trying to talk, and I'm so excited about playing this, guys, after, you know, ow, poison ivy, right? Or thorn bush. But, you know, after working on it for so long now with everybody, um, oh my. What's going on with my hunger? Holy shnikes, do I have anything else to eat? Um, let's see, do we have right click? No, all right. Um... But like I said, I'm super excited about finally playing this mod pack because, you know, I've been working on it for so long that I've been so itchy about, you know, just actually playing it. Um, it's you not know, very different if you just, you know, give yourself creative mode items while you test and make sure that, you know, nothing crashes when you place them and going through some of the different crafting recipes. We found two already that I needed to do a different change in the crafting recipe because they're conflicting with something else. And I am gonna replace everything here, by the way. So the next person that comes along also finds some food. I hope you guys are gonna do the same if you join us on the server, especially because it's right next to spawn. Um, but yeah, um, so I wanna find a roguelike dungeon today and I kinda wanna, you know, secure it. Make it a little cozy or homey and also maybe possibly clear the first layer and then just get some basic tools going and the like. And then maybe we'll take a look at something. Um, one of the mods, I don't know yet what exactly. I I have so many things I want to do. Ooh, I can eat now. Good. Um, and yeah, so I think that, well, is there a blacksmith here? Let's Let's find that out first because that would be amazing. But it doesn't look like there's a blacksmith. I'm not going to take the bookshelves, guys. Um, because we're going to, like I said, go in a roguelike dungeon. And there's always so many bookshelves in there. Ooh, Aura Cascade. I think that's Aura Cascade. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Should we take this? Uh, let's see here real quick. At Aura... Aura. There we go. What does it cost to make you? Recipe. We need eight furnaces in aura crystal white. How do I make this stuff here? It's gold nuggets around iron. That's fine. And these aura notes right here is gold nuggets with redstone. Ah, you know what? I might as well take this with me. I do want to... I've never played with Aura Cascade before, so I really want to um, get into it. And also, by the way, um, I'm not going to just progress down the line like i usually do you know just trying to get stuff done get to whatever this time i kind of want to what what is this madness here why is there even the wood um i don't want to just you know make something it kind of when i tackle a mod and i have the materials i want to show the entire mod you know like a mod spotlight kind of thing and i guess you can stay here mister Sure. somebody locked you in so i'll leave you there um but anyways guys let me do some exploring i'm just rambling here but i'm just so excited about it seriously and well i show you guys when i found a roguelike dungeon or something else that is maybe you know generated i really have not done any exploring since we've been working on here so i might stumble across some cool things and then i'll tune back in so i just got myself a bunch of leather from cows here and i gotta visit two of the thorncraft trees again no, there's one right there. Where is this other one? I think it's this one over here. Yes. Because I got so much stuff already that I am I had to leave it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. That's why I kept this chest here. You surround this with leather and we get our basic backpack. 
And this one, we can upgrade to an iron backpack, which is going to have more storage. And there's two different ones. And then on this one, we can add a bunch of upgrades. I'm looking forward to doing this here. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have the materials for this stuff yet. Additional upgrade points, button, damage bar, like bowls and strings and paper. This shows you how full it is. This one gives you the NEI sorting buttons and stuff like that. But um, I key bound mine to let's see here where is it um, equip v and open b okay so you can either just have it on your bar and right click and then it opens it's a very small backpack but it's okay it's it's better than nothing and when i press v it actually puts it on check it out it's on my back i get a backpack on and now i can access it and open it via pressing b and I can directly get in here. And I also keep getting these here, the solidified experience. And I'm going to save them, but I just wanted to show you. When you right click it, it gives you XP. Um, and now I can empty all this stuff out here. Pipe. A potion wand is going to be a lot of fun. I think you can uh, put it in a crafting table with a potion to give it the effect. Should I even take these recipes? It's just brass. What's brass made out of? Um, powdered brass. Right? No. Brass blend. So that's two copper and a sink. All right. I think I'm just going to take them until I'm full. So let me put this stuff in here, like the ingots. This. What is this here? Emeritic crystal. Usage for this stuff. Oh, we can make some armor. Silk touch drill upgrade. More tools and stuff. There's a lot of ways to make tools, by the way, in this pack. Again, there isn't much out there yet. And I made a bed so I can sleep also. And the first iron I had. Iron X, check out how much ebony wood I have. Around that village, there was a ton. But I did not get a sapling. So that kind of sucks. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a sapling eventually. It looks really cool. And let me show you the other chest over here real quick. I got so many goodies already. I love it. And uh, already 10 levels. Holy shnikes. All right, so what do we got in here? Look at this. Oh yeah, this is where I left the aura cascade, the lead ingots. Let's get that stuff out first. Stuff that I know that can, well, actually, fit it all. Oh, one item doesn't fit, okay. So let's get the ingots in here first. Monday, you know what? Let's just take, I'm gonna leave this one here. We'll just take one of these. I do wanna keep this aura cascade. Dimlet partial. Oh, yeah, when you right click these, you get a bunch of dimlets in those. So I want to make sure that I don't do this. And I can show you guys this one. This is like super awesome that we got this already so early in the in the in the world. Because this is a teleportation staff, okay, that runs on XP, I believe. So let's just say I want to get over here. You just aim there and right click. And it put me only halfway. Maybe I gotta click longer, or maybe that was the max distance. But it's going to be super cool now for exploring until I find a place. Because this is a beautiful biome. Because if there's like mountains or something, I don't need to climb them. I just teleport up on them. And let's see here. So I can have an overview. Check this out. Oh yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have a glider. Uh, open blocks is not out yet. So um, I know it's coming soon. Trademark um, of everybody, <laughs> all the mod developers, and I can't blame them. Uh, let's get, you cannot, you will suffocate here. Can I teleport here? Okay. Well, ooh, hello, how you doing? This is from the reptiles mod, guys. These guys are mean. Should we take him on? Should we try? Uh-oh. Server closed. I'll be right back. All right, let's try to take this guy out. I'm a little scared, but... Oh. Could do. Let's do this here. Let's let's be smart. We got these tools, so let's do it. We're gonna do home set temp. So now, in case I die, I can just come back here. It's cheesy, but a hey, it don't matter. Let's. What's up, buddy? What? What? Am I hitting? He's hitting me. All right. I I don't even see his life bar. He can get me down here, too. That's cheating, man! I'm gonna die. 
All right, we're not taking him out. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, I've been exploring for a long time, guys. Um, you can see him all the way down here. I ran all this spawn is, oops, what was that? It's up here. And over here is, I think, where I last recorded with the, with the backpack and stuff. And I just explored. There's a ton of Tinker's Construct uh, Islands. I found another village over here. And then I guess I hit the ocean, took a boat ride. And then I found a jungle over here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna live in a jungle. It would be like my third series this year that I live in a jungle. But I found this the thing here. I thought it was a, a, a regular Minecraft temple. Oh yeah, check it out. I got a second one of these, a drain. I had to make a second backpack. <laughs> I got so much stuff, it's bonkers. Here's the first one. But I, I just, I'm a hoarder. I can't get everything away. But let me show you this over here. This is a, yes, Raphalesia. That's a roguelike dungeon. Put some light here. Um, there's a dungeon entrance here. Um, and it's open. I think there's so many other ones. I'm, I'm going to show you guys eventually all the different ones. Um, but I just didn't want to stop exploring. Um, there's another one that looks like a tower. Like a real uh, brick tower. Stone brick tower. You know, like a mage's tower. And that's actually kind of what I was looking for. I found two on my way here. Oh, it's the underground map. How do I stuff? There was one. You should be able to see them quite clearly. Right. That's a regular. No, it's right up here. Right here. Next to this village. There is one. But I didn't want to stay here because it's next to the village. I don't want to be next to a village. And then there's another one I haven't stumbled across yet. And that is a brick house. Um, Glitch gave me some coordinates of one that he found. He lives in one himself, and I think Mike also. So all three of us would live in the same structure, same style of structure. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this, and I'm going to keep exploring this way. See, check out like two or three more biomes. Um, but first, if I'm already here, I already got watermelons. I found potatoes, and I also got pumpkins. So that's awesome. Now I just got to get down here. I love this staff. It's so perfect. Where are these cocoa beans? Can I get up here, my friend? Ow. All right, perfect. Let me grab these also. Might as well take them, right? If I'm already here. Then we got all the vanilla things. And another thing I was just thinking of is that I forgot this because we're playing 1.8.9. We're going to have guardian temples. It's going to be very interesting, you know, with in modded, you know, obviously um, everybody's done it in... In vanilla and so on, but in modded, it opens up a whole new, you know, possibility of setting up a farm and so on. So I think we definitely gotta make a guardian temple, and maybe build a lot with the with the blocks from there. I think that'd be cool. It's I've never built with it, so. But anyway, I'm gonna keep exploring. Look around. Uh, let's go over here. I love this thing. <laughs> it's so awesome, this staff, guys. I hope you guys find one too when you start playing. Um, oh yeah, and in case I forgot to show you guys this, uh, in case you don't play on the server here with us, this is the seed that we're using, and I'm gonna try to make it my, add it again to my description like I do in Infinity, um, so in case you start later or you don't want to type it off the screen, you can just copy and paste it. But I'm gonna keep exploring for a bit and hopefully come up with a nice place soon. Check it out. I found a home. Uh, that's that brick building that Glitch gave me the coordinates to. Let me show you all the <laughs> traveling I did. And I actually just added the waypoints for all the other guys. I don't know where... Oh yeah, right there is Glitch, Mike, Sparky. I don't know yet where each chance is. But anyway, all the way up here we started. So I came down here. Went around this way. This was where the jungle was. And I came over here. And then back this way. So I got lots uncovered, which is really cool. Um, and this is that brick building right here. And I just wanted to show you guys the, the biome here, this woodland. And it's, it's really nice looking, I think. There's a bunch of these little lakes and there's lots of holes in the ground. I think this stuff here is an oil uh, from either Hydraulic Craft or ooh, some other mod. Uh, let's see here who all it's, adds oil. Um, actual additions looks like uh, canola oil and oil hydraulic craft hydraulic craft 
What's this here? Pneumatic craft. So one of those is that there's tons of oil. But it's a very nice looking biome, I think. And look at the amount of Tinker's Construct Islands. Anyway, let me show you guys inside. I didn't do much besides, you know, just uh, sorting my inventory because I had so much stuff. And I set up this little farm, farmed some wood. Um, I'm waiting for these potatoes to grow so I can spread them further. Some carrots and some wheat and sugarcane, of course. Um, I did not bring any jungle wood, which was knucklehead for me. But I can get back there uh, down here eventually. It's, a, it's a, just a quick run. So I can uh, grow the cocoa beans. And I don't have watermelons and pumpkins yet because I barely ever use them. So if I ever need them, then I set them up. But anyways, this is that build building. That's a roguelike dungeon entrance. And I did not change anything yet. Besides light it up a little bit. And I broke one granite right there. So I set up some chests. Let me just show you real quick. You know, farm stuff, mob drops, um, wood stuff, blocks. And then we got gems and so on is going to be here and some metal and I already cooked up some iron. I'm actually going to take that out right now because I'm going to take that with me. Where we're going to go. Random gobbledygook that I don't know what it's for and an empty one. And down here of course is the rook like dungeon. We'll go there in a second. And up here. There was a little bit decorations of wood but I took them out and there was a bed here. And here I have some other random stuff armor now there's one thing i want to do first and that is yes yeah, see i got a helmet and pants on but you don't see any armor hut right and that is because by default it's it's on the top left growing upwards and by default the key binding is f9 and you guys see that and now you see a box up here and you can drag that down to where you want it and i want it down here in the bottom left and that is it um uh, that's all we gotta do. Escape. And now you see a armor hut. And I think the last one down here, that's gonna be boots and the chest. I don't think it shows tools. Right? No, it doesn't. But that's all I wanted to have. Little armor hut down there so you can see what's going on. And it's interesting. This shows zero. Does this not take any damage at all? Interesting. But anyways, um, so that is our place here. And I want to get to the mining age first. It's time that I, you know, I got to get mining. And um, if you go at Aroma, mining dimension right here, and you click on any of the stuff, there's no recipes popping up, okay? And that's why I want to show you guys on camera here. This is the recipe, just a stone pickaxe, flint and steel, and some stone bricks to make a mining multi-tool, all right? And you make that one and put it in here with a stone brick again to make the portal frames. Again, for that, no recipe yet. I'm sure that's gonna come soon. That is all I need here. I cooked up a bunch of meat. It's everything I found on my travel, so I got tons of food with me. And I go down here and I lit it up so nothing can spawn down here. I have not done any exploring it. I wanted to do that with you guys, at least the first level. It's all dark this way. I can see creeper there. I can see some wheat and I don't know, those could be potatoes or carrots. And something else here, there's more food. But anyway, that is not what we're going to do right now. Right now, I want to make a mining portal. So I got my own entrance over here. You just make a portal in any kind of um, arrangement. It's just got to have the corners. And now I got my mining here. Actually, I noticed here that that is not very convenient. I might move this up here. Like right there. Because the text, uh, the chat was overlaying it. Anyway, so you walk in here and nothing happens. You gotta press shift. You gotta sneak into the portal. Uh, and now it's gonna teleport us to the uh, Roma 1997 mining dimension. And there we go. We are here. That is all that spawns in here. There is animals spawning and these rubber trees. These are rubber trees from Hydraulic Craft, by the way. That you can see that you can walk into them. We noticed that here earlier. That's kind of weird. And the other thing is that when you break these, there's no recipes for these. So I don't know yet what we're going to do with those. Um, but I'm sure we're going to get rubber somehow. And you see it has a little smaller hitbox. I'm guessing that's what causes us to walk into them. But anyway, you see Botania flowers. We even got some reptiles here. And I think the other guys got a bunch of leather and wool and so on. But I just wanted to have my mining age. Uh, this is also, by the way, the best place to get the Botania flowers. Because there's very little in the overworld. I did not change the default configs. We decided, you know, that's actually nice. Because otherwise the overworld is so cluttered. 
just come to the mining dimension and do your stuff. So um, I have planned to right here, you know, start my mine shaft. I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to do that between episodes. I'm going to go heavy on mining. But what I wanted to do with you guys is I wanted to clear the first layer or as much as we can of this roguelike dungeon. Um, because I do want to make use of these rooms down here. Because, you know, I'm going to run out of room upstairs pretty soon, probably. So one of the first things I want to do, actually, before I forget, I want to make myself an iron pick. And I also want to make myself an iron sword. The rest I'm going to keep for now. And um, probably it's not a bad idea to make a chest plate. And what else am I missing? The boots. Let's make the boots. So we get a little armor for down here because otherwise we might get pretty heavy owned. Not too bad. It's better than nothing. And I'm going to come in here. And F7, by the way, this is different than from what you guys are probably used to. Um, or I know you guys are used to. Well, actually, we don't need this. There's a light switch right here. Check this out. There's a redstone lamp. But we're still going to need light here and there. Let's close this off. Ooh, ooh. Running back like a chicken. I was not fast enough, so I should be able to kill these guys. I really got to sprint back there and light up the spawner. Hey, can you like come down here? Thank you. All right, so let's put on the running boots and get back in there as fast as we can. Um, are you mad at me, buddy? No. All right, good. So that's safe. There's another spawner here. Another spawner. I gotta be careful so I don't hit that enderman. Put another torch. Oh man, I should have brought more torches. That was a knucklehead move of me. Uh, let's check what's in here. Ooh, perfect. Iron shovel. Alright, why don't I just take all of this. And I always like to remove these chests so I know that I'm done. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna run upstairs real quick. And make some torches, and I close this off for now. I right, just emptied my bag and got myself a stack of torches. And now we'll hopefully can clear at least this one side over here. Oh, I shouldn't say clear it, but light it up all the way. And then we're going to take a look at these side rooms. Oh, there's a right here. Very cool, so many lamps. All right, let's see if I can light this up. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, good. Ooh, there's a hole in the ground. Ooh, is there a ravine right here? Oh. Wow, haven't taken any hits yet. Yeah, I gotta close this off, so bam. And I don't want to destroy any spawners at all down here, if possible, because of... um, What's it called? The... Oh boy, the name of the mod. Uh, something with I... Intangible. Yes, I th believe for intangible, we're going to need a lot of um, mob spawners um, for the whole system there. Ooh. Efficiency 2, Unbreaking 2, Sharpness 1, Unbreaking 3, Highly Durable. Well, we'll take this one and that. Pretty cool. What do we got here? Protection 1. All right, good. Let me break this one. And I just got gobbledygook. Good. There. Well, nothing can come in here, but I don't trust it. My, I don't trust myself of, you know, possibly falling in there. And you know what? Just to make sure there's some play here. Um, I added a mod or we, I'm sorry. I should always say we. It wasn't me. Um, that um, generates random... Um, clay pockets underground, which I think is really cool. I always find it a pain to run around the world just looking for. I really want to close this here. Oh boy, there we go. I don't need these. Them like that. Now I'm out of cobble, but that's fine. At least this is closed off. Nothing can come in here. I'm sure we're gonna dress this up and so on, and hopefully make a lot of use of these different spawners. All right, so now let's see if we can light something up over here. Probably need torches here. Here, is this another spider spawner? Is that all that is down here? Is 
Looks like there's a cave system. Can anything walk up here? No. All right, let's put something there. And down here. Pick out this chest. Unpick. All right, let's break it, take it all with us. I'm probably gonna, you know, explore this cave down here. Potato, wheat, carrots, that is super nice. All right, so now we can go into this first room over here. This wing is cleared. And let's see what's in here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's that. I, I know this room. Um, let me turn this off for a second. Um, that room here is, there's like a smeltery setup, you guys, or a furnace setup. This is so cool looking. I really dig it. Uh, check this out. They're turned the other way around. That's the only bad thing. But you got input for ore, output for the ingots, and input in the back. So there's more hoppers right there. Or coal. This is a nice room. We might we might make use of this here. Um, I'll figure it out what I want to build or if we're going to stay upstairs. I don't know yet. I do kind of... I think it would be cool to set up this whole this whole area here um, as our base. Um, why not, right? Okay, let's go into the next one here. Check in. There's another door here. Well, this time let's go in here. Ooh, enchanting table. Oh, that is awesome. Put some lights here. And there. Very cool. I'll leave it here. Probably gonna just bring the bookshelves down there. Ooh, check it out. Recoil 1. Two ender pearls. That is good to have. So happy. We're finally playing, guys. I'm serious. It's it, it's like taking forever for us to just get to play the mods that we're putting in here. So it makes me very happy. I'm excited. Lots of new mods. A little dangerous. What's happening here? Ooh. Sorry, I'm scared. Oh yeah, that's a cave going right through here. Get some free glowstone. Hey, how you doing? No, no. Wow, and he shot through the fire. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Where, where did he come from? What happened? Where'd he go? What? What? There was a creeper here. It didn't explode. Where'd it go? Oh my, I, I puckered so hard just now, guys. Where did it go? Oh, my heart is racing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I don't have enough room anymore. So let me just... Actually, you know what? I, I'll just leave this stuff here. I'll pick this up later and bring it upstairs. Oh my god, I got so scared. Just now I'll leave the cake. Because that way I can scan it for Thumbcraft when we get started with it. And there's another room. Ah oh yeah, that's the sleeping quarters. I know these. Okay, there's usually some coal in here. Yep. Another chest with random stuff. Ooh, check. We would have gotten melon seeds right here. Another iron axe. That is cool. I like it. And nothing else. Good. Of course, bookshelves. So, can't believe what's with this. Ooh, ooh. They can come in here. Let's just... And now... And get up here or there. Okay. There's something in the ceiling that it fell down? <laughs> uh, how you doing, sir? No. No, no, no. Alright, let's go to the last wing. Because I know the episode is getting late already. But I really wanted to clear this today because also it, it reduces the the spawn and the noise and everything. The noise, that's the only bad thing living on top of a roguelike dungeon. I'm not kidding. You constantly hear uh, murr and the, and the spiders and everything. It's just non-stop. Ah, there's the way down. Okay, that's the way down to the next level. 
So what I do here usually is just put a block right there so they can come up. And go this way real quick. The room with the stuff falling through the ceiling. There's some of these rooms where where mobs fall through little holes here in the corner. The spawners are up high, so when you see those, always close these holes as soon as you come into the room. And the center. Okay, I think that is good enough here. No chests, no nothing here. Okay. There's something in these? No. Alright, let's go quick. Ah, got it. Ooh, nice skeleton spawner. One of my favorite spawners. And there's lots of ways for us to actually move spawners in this pack. So once we get to that, you know, I'm probably going to clear out most of the stuff here. And move it all into different positions quick. Alright, got this guy. Zombie spawner. I'm not looking at you. I, I'm not a threat. What do we got in here? Another one of these swords. Very nice. Well, guys, I think that is all for today's episode. Um, I hope you are as excited about this mod pack as I am with the 1.8 mods. It's going to be a lot of fun. She going to close this off so I cannot fall through there. I know me. And yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm going to go spend some time in the mining age. You know, I want to get some materials together. Because next episode, of course, I want to start upgrading my tools and get uh, started with some um, ore processing and whatnot. And I would really appreciate uh, you guys' input. If you guys are playing the um, the mod pack yourself and so on, uh, make sure that you let us know on the forums, um, on GitHub, if you find any uh, bugs or anything. And otherwise, that is it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.